Hello out there, this is Turkanel, and welcome back to the Omega server. We are getting going on projects today. Hope you enjoyed the last episode. Sorry for some of the technical details I wasn't fully paying attention to. I hope to correct some of that, and we're going to see a little bit of that starting this episode. Not quite yet, but soon. But for now, we're going to be helping out Amaros on a project of his. So we're going to head over there and get started. As soon as I figure out, you know, where that is. Still getting used to this place. It's an interesting little place here, and I don't know where everything is quite yet. So, after I get stop getting lost, I'll be back. I finally found Amaros. And he's playing with iron. Alright, Am, um, so what are we building exactly here? We are building an iron shop for the server. Since we're pretty much the sole providers of iron on the server, uh, we need to find a way to disseminate that iron to our server mates. Now, since we're going to get a lot of this and it's in spawn chunks and stuff, I'm thinking we'll make a nominal fee, maybe uh, charge lapis lazuli for it <laughs> instead of diamonds. And we're actually going to give complimentary iron for those that just walk into the store, maybe. And then have the option of buying additional stacks of iron if you want bulk. So what we're doing is making the actual store facade itself. And, of course, since it's an iron farm, we're going to make it out of iron. And it's going to be an iron golem. <laughs> so, not just any golem, though. This one's going to be a special iron golem. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can only imagine what you got in mind. I guess you'll have to show me here in a second. <laughs> well, I'll provide you with the pictures so you can help me build this bad boy. And uh, maybe we'll leave it as a surprise to your viewers to see what it becomes. And we'll have like an <laughs> unveiling. And then we'll work on the interior because there's going to be redstone in this thing. Oh, goody. Yeah, I guess we'll. This all's going to take a long time. And since I don't have my camera count set up yet, quite yet, we'll just have to cut to the end. This is going to take a little bit anyway, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, and lots and lots of block placing. Oh, look, the. Pi wow. Heh, <laughs> heh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, well, that that's going to be where the door is. That's kind of the building. It's going to be a round building. <laughs> so. Uh, Alrighty. Yeah, I can see the <laughs> round bed. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. That's well, just the base. Well, so. let's get started. All right. Uh, all right, everybody. We'll be back in a bit once we've got some structure going. Well, we're about most way up, and you can see it's a long way down. I can't fall, or I will die. It's that far down. <laughs> uh, yeah. So far, as you can see, we've used a lot of iron, and we aren't done yet. And I think we're running low. I know I am. <laughs> So we may have to end up making a trip back to the iron farm to grab more. So we'll see how that goes, and then I'll bring you back again. I <laughs> know, short update, sorry. Uh, once we've got a little more done. Well, we moved off the highest structure into a lower area. And we're back at it. Basin, you might call it. <laughs> oh, our horrible, horrible humor. <laughs> oh, yes. And Terrible. It's only going to get it worse as we go through this. Uh, it will make sense once we get it all built and we can show you around. But as you can see, we're playing with some die right now. At the, this is the back of the structure. Or structure, sorry. As you can see, it's night. We have friends. Lots of friends. <laughs> oh, look at Enderman. 
So we're going to be busy for a little bit longer. <laughs> Hopefully we can show you what this is, is turning out to be here shortly. See you in a bit. All right, we are about done. We still have a little bit of work left to do. Am has got some redstone in here. Let's see a tripwire heading in and then redstone heading up that way. We've got some redstone above us in the structure here. All around that entire area right there. So it's just a matter of adding a few finishing touches and then we'll be ready to show off this monstrosity. <laughs> So give us a few minutes to get that all ready, and then we can show you what our funny construction project has become. So there's been a lot of building, a lot of work here, and not a lot of showing what's going on. So before I re show you the final project, as it is at this exact point in time, I'm going to show you a little bit of what went into this. I could record a whole lot from third person, so that's why it's been a lot of cut updates. However... Amaros has some. So, we're going to use a bit of his footage from his camera account to show you a bit of the work that has been gone into this structure. So you will definitely tell what we've been building. I hope you enjoy it.
We're done. Well, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have us. a little bit of that pathway in between the legs to do, but oh yeah, <laughs> you can see this that guy is big huge. Thing behind us. <laughs> this thing will be visible from all across town. <laughs> You can see this guy from the nether portal in the middle of town. <laughs> of course, uh, all the way back there, you just see the face and the top of the shoulders. But, yeah, this is a pretty fun build. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and show you inside. But, I don't know. I th definitely want to thank Turcano for helping out with this build. It would have taken twice as long without him. Maybe even more than that. <laughs> <laughs> It was, oh, took us a long... It's it's really late right now. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And this thing, it took, what, uh, almost a chest and a row of iron blocks? Something like that. Something like that. It, it was a lot of iron. And we went and put a little bit of iron in the chest inside so that you can actually go and get some. For your leisure, I decided I would sell stacks of iron for 10 lapis a stack. I figured that's something that everyone has a lot of, and since I haven't been mining for a while, I could probably use a little bit of lapis. It's probably the only thing that I can't get on my own through some kind of farm. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Turkenil and I would appreciate all the lapis that you want to give us. We need enchanting stuffs. You know, you need. We need it. What the? Oh, look, <laughs> zombie. Yeah, let's see if I can fight him in third person. Nope. I'm fighting him without Got a it. GUI. <laughs> <laughs> I did it third person without a GUI. I could be <laughs> dead for all I know. <laughs> we got more coming in too. Well, should all we right. go show him in how this thing <laughs> works? <laughs> sure, let's go in before we get eaten by more zombies. Yep, here comes another one. <laughs> so, we'll have this little path here. It'll be level with the road. So we'll cut it down. Now, I got a tripwire hook system right here with a little tripwire. So you walk across that. Now you can hear. Click, click, click. <laughs> so, uh, have a few for free. If you want more, it's just 10 lapis a stack right there. We'll probably put a trap door there. There we go. But stand on the hoppers and look up. So go ahead and hit it again. Let's see. And this is what you saw the redstone causing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's silly. So silly. <laughs> and yes, it is as juvenile as it seems. Oh, but it, it, it may be terrible, but it's still great fun. Uh, great fun. Uh, unfortunately, I only have about, what, two halves of a single chest up there worth of iron. And then I got about the same amount down here. So that's going to eventually run out. And so we'll have to go and put a lot of iron storage up there it, so we can retain the novelty of this. Yeah, Maybe those... do some kind of item elevator to just feed it up there automatically. Yeah, it shouldn't take too, too much, I don't think. But we got a little bit of decorating in here to do still. I don't know, the uh, dirt with the green grass almost is like, you know, poo sludge and moss <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking it almost might be worth leaving it. You know, take well, a little bit of this uh, granite and just... Well, here, you, we could always go for mycelium. Ooh, yeah, we could do the mycelium. I mean, I don't know. run that down here along the edges inside, and we could probably pull off something even better. And then, nice if we really want to go for sludge, oh if yeah, we really wanted to go for something dirty, we could then get like, you know, a well, we could leave the green dirt clay here on the side. Well, it will turn into mycelium too. Um, not if it can't hit the top, right? I might still try. Well, we'll have to find out. You don't want it to leach outside, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking maybe but, we could use some clay on the side just to make sure it doesn't go too, too far. Yeah. But we'll put some trap doors around this thing here. <laughs> this is just so silly. <laughs> Alright. Alright, come on out. Uh, we do have this w wonderful little pattern design out here on the floor. 
Uh, we'll probably have to figure out a way to light it up without torches, so maybe a uh, glowstone block here in the center where the uh, uh, diorite meets for our little uh, grout. I tried to make it like a bathroom floor. <laughs> so we got to extend this out at least, what, one more, two more tiles to catch up to the uh, back of this toilet. Yeah, oh, like that. oh we've, we we forgot the andesite toilet handle up there. Oh, oh well, it, it's... Oh, creeper, creeper, run, run, run. Whoa! Run away! Stupid creeper. Uh, we'll be on this side, Hit. thank you. So yeah, we got a nice little toilet bowl. Um, I might put a little bit of a lid around it, you know, just have a little one wide sticking out there to simulate the top of the... Here's another creeper. Who knows? That's maybe a little too much detail. But we got our little flushing pipe right here. and We got it combined with the pipe creeper <laughs> coming in from the just that actual one. toilet there. Um, I was thinking if we wanted to do an item elevator, we could just put some glass right up in here and then around this bit here, and we could just item elevator iron up into the tank. We probably but, could easily do that right there, yeah. Yeah. Or we can just come off the back a little bit, maybe make a little water line or something. Yep. But have it go up into the tank, and we'll just have, you know, a hopper stack up there, a little chest hopper stack thingy. Deep storage. That's yes. what it'll be. Deep storage. Deep iron storage. <laughs> that way we could maybe even set up a nice little uh, water line all the way from the iron farms through town, under the ground, and into this guy. So we don't actually have to come and do any of it. We just have to load the chunks in between to get the items to flow through. Yeah, which shouldn't, just means we have to, every once in a while, let's go run back and forth. Yeah, we'd have to just run over to the iron farm and back, or at least camp in the center for a little bit. So it loads both sets of chunks. Yeah, that's kind of the difficulty with it being this far. Yeah, well, for that, it'd just be a little chunk science. Yeah, so. we could do a, like, remote chunk loader with redstone. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it'll be a fun ex exercise. <laughs> but, yeah, this guy, <laughs> it, it, this is great. I do like this build. It came out really nice. And this is what happens when you get both of us together. We well, just get weird. <laughs> we build crazy stuff like this, but I thought this would definitely be a great way to uh, sell some iron. Yeah. <laughs> if nothing else, everyone's going to be going looking at this going, uh, what? Okay, I, I, I'm going to head back this way just so we can get a nice distance shot of it, see what it looks like from way back here. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like from the top of Hammy Inc. I'm sure uh, Roham will tell us. <laughs> Let's run up there. I even get us a good screenshot we can use. Let's see. Make sure you don't fall off his stairs. These things are precarious. Whee! Like that? Yes. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did you see that face rise up in the window as we came up here? Oh, that's 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 just classic. Oh. Hey, look, the boss or the booze, Mister Hum. You know, the boss has two S's in it, right? <laughs> look, at, look at that! It, it's almost like Attack on Titan or something. He's just got his <laughs> face in the window. It, you have to come to the window to actually tell that he's not like peeking in the side. <laughs> it's it's so derpy. <laughs> come back here and look. Come back here and look. This is awesome. This is right here from his desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, Broham. I'm you're gonna have to move your desk. <laughs> Hold on. I think poor Broham, but I'm gonna have to use that as a screenshot, man, because that's just perfect. Oh yeah. Here, you want to move out of the way? I'll do it, too. All 
Uh, let's see. Right there. Click. Got it. I, I might use that as a screenshot, or I might just come up here to the window and take the screenshot from there. I don't know. I don't know. I know. You'll, back the, the 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 point about being back here is you can't see anything below the shoulders. <laughs> yes. Hey, you know that that would be a great way to keep it secret. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like your screenshots of Broham's headquarters. Well, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Broham's probably gonna think we punked him or something. I know. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry, Broham. You're just gonna have to move your desk. <laughs> look the other no, direction. <laughs> look, look the other direction. I, I hear there's a really awesome uh, wood farm over here. Yeah, there's a, a there's a lumber mill over there that looks. You can look like at the lumber mill. So you don't have a golem staring at you all day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, that's just too rich, too rich. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. We definitely appreciate your views and definitely your likes. If you would go ahead and like this episode if you've liked it. And do subscribe so you can continue watching all of the uh, zany, crazy stuff that we come up with. Because we got a lot more to do. We definitely do. So. Stay tuned, and we will see you next time. Have a good night.